This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another home edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our special guest is Dr. Paul Hannigan, the president of Point Park University, who this week announced that he is stepping down as president of that university. Dr. Hennigan, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you, John. Good to be here. You know, I have to say, Paul, you're really a special guest and supporter of this show. We must have had you on dozens of times over the 16 years you have served as president of this university. And I have to say personally that your departure from Point Park is not only a loss to Point Park University, it's a loss to this region and all the work you've done in uh, downtown Pittsburgh. So tell us, why have you decided to retire? Well, thank you, John. I appreciate your compliments. Um, I've always been a very strong advocate for leadership renewal in organizations. And as you say, uh, in the summer, I will have been president for 16 years. Uh, prior to that, for five years, I was the vice president for finance and operations. So that's a total of 21 years in a senior leadership position at Point Park. And I just think that it's time to get out of the way and make room for a new leader. Um, higher ed is going to have to reimagine itself after the pandemic and Point Park is no exception to that. And I just think it's a perfect time for the university to bring in a new leader who can help to reimagine what Point Park will be like after the pandemic. Paul, there's no question that you have been in a remarkable leader for Point Park University. There has been so much development from the theater to uh, bringing campus housing to downtown Pittsburgh, to the expansion of buildings. What are you most proud of in your tenure as president? Well, um, I would say there's a couple of things. I'm very proud of our focus on student learning, student success, and experiential learning. Uh, we provide a lot of internships uh, for our students, but we also have a cooperative education program where qualified juniors and seniors can work for 12 to 15 weeks, uh, make entry level wages, make between 10 and $15,000 while they're still a student and earn credits toward their degrees. So that approach to learning and that approach to preparing students, I'm very proud of. I'm also very proud that uh, we were able to develop the academic village at Point Park University. We have five linear blocks along Wood Street and the Boulevard of the Allies. It is a university campus in an urban setting and it's an exciting place. So I'm proud of the synergy between the students, the faculty and the downtown campus. Now you're not leaving until next summer. What do you hope you kind of end on a really special new high note that we're not aware of? What can you share with us? Well, unfortunately with the pandemic, I think that um, getting through the fall term and getting through the spring term successfully with our students earning their credits and our faculty doing what they need to do to help provide the learning opportunities, I would consider that to be a real success, uh, not only for Point Park, but for all of the Pittsburgh schools that are working together to do this safely. Yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, academic, higher academics and secondary and the primary schools have all been challenged by this. You know, Point Park started out as, I think, a junior college, then a did. college, yep. a university. Now you're a full-scale university with multiple departments. Um, but what I think is most remarkable is the downtown environment, which you have come to dominate. Uh, what do you hope for Point Park University in the years ahead? Well, I think that uh, the urban setting is very good for us because students who want to um, experience the vibe of an urban center, um, it's special. And the opportunities that Pittsburgh presents for our students and our faculty, uh, the learning opportunities, the engagement with culture, arts, sports, professional sports, and the corporate setting. So that's the reason why we created the cooperative education program is because we've had so many connections with so many businesses that it just made good sense to uh, provide entry for students while they were still student, students into the workplace. Um, so I think building on that and thriving after the pandemic will be a truly exciting opportunity for the university. Well, Dr. Paul Hennigan, uh, thank you so much for your leadership in this community for so many years. Much appreciated. Thank you for being with me today. You're welcome, John. Thank you. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.